In my book, I have a framework that is called the three C's. And they stand for competence, commitment, and compatibility. And the idea is this, the minute you show up, and this includes tonight's event, and the coffee chats you'll have, and the follow-up emails you'll have, and the interviews you'll have, and when you start in a new role, and you start meeting with clients, and you're supervising attorney, the people around you will be sizing you up, and they'll be asking themselves three questions. Question one is, can you do this job well? Can I trust that if I give you something, you'll get it done and do it well? The second question is, are you excited to be here? Are you invested in our team? Are you eager to help the team achieve its goals? And then finally, do you get along with us? And your job, frankly, all of our jobs, and this includes the global managing partner of your law firm, it's to convince the people around them, your clients, your colleagues. I've heard, by the way, that this applies just as much to dating life. That's outside of the scope of this. <laughs> but use this framework as you will. Your job is to convince the people around you to answer yes to all three questions all the time. It's through these three C's that you build trust, that you unlock opportunity, and that you set yourself on the path to career success, whatever that happens to look like for you. Show that you can do the job well, and others will trust you with more important responsibilities. Show that you're committed and people want to invest in you. They'll see you as part of the future leadership bench of this firm. And, well, show that you can get along with others and people will want to work with you. In consulting, we used to call that the airport test back prior to the pandemic when we would travel a lot more. I have lost count of the number of <laughs> associates that I've heard this from, where they'll get onto the job, they'll be called an attorney, they'll be called a, even sometimes a senior attorney, and they just still have no idea what this job even entails. And so, well, Hopefully, the tools tonight will give you a better sense of how to navigate these unknown spaces, these unfamiliar spaces. But your job, at least for tonight and during the recruiting process here, is to take the path of one, two, three, four, five. Do this, and you'll build relationships with people who will remember you and hopefully remember you fondly. And at the very end, you will, at best, get a job, get your top choice, and at worst, you'll build a relationship that you can call on for the rest of your career. You, I, I saw in the, in the poll earlier that you might not be sure that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life. And that's okay. But what I've learned from all of this is that, well, your internship, your job, your relationship with this firm may be temporary, but the relationships that you build can and will last a lifetime if you nurture them well. So I'm curious. I gave you a lot of numbers and talking points and checklists and Mad Libs and fill in the blanks. Curious, what's one thing that you plan to do differently starting tomorrow, starting tonight? Amazing, sending an email to someone. I can guarantee you that many of you will say that you'll send an email, but you actually won't. So those of you who actually follow through with that will, in fact, differentiate yourself. There's this knowing doing gap. You know what you should do, but then very few people actually follow through. So for the, for the few, you will, in fact, set yourself apart. Going out of your way to introduce yourself to people, replying immediately, breaking the silence, responding to emails more quickly. <laughs> As someone who is the perfect storm of shy, introverted, and awkward, I can totally relate to this. So don't be fooled by the fact that I'm up here. It's taken quite a bit of work. Be more timely, asking questions, breaking the ice. So different things, different aspects of this presentation will resonate with different people, but I hope that all of you will, <laughs> will, will um, well, continue to have a sense of humor. And, and well, take away at least one thing that will help you get further faster in your career. So good luck. You'll all be great. I really do mean it when I say that I look forward to staying in touch with all of you. I was, prior to the session, a stranger. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to interact with many of you tonight. And hopefully, you'll apply so many of what I just talked about tonight between the two of us, because I sincerely do hope to be there as I follow in your careers. And I know that all of you will have successful ones. 
So with that, thank you very much. Good luck to you all. Stay in touch.